Is it dangerous? Edward? Hmm? Privateering? Is it dangerous? Wouldn't pay so nice if it weren't. Why not sail with the King's Navy? Earn a proper wage? Sail under gentlemen? Sod the Navy's gentlemen. For every shilling I'd earn, the captain gets 600. That's no way to earn a fortune. We don't need a fortune. It's not about need, Caroline. I want food that don't make me sick. I want walls that hold back the wind. I want a decent life. How long would you be gone with these privateers? A year, I reckon. Two at the most. All right. No more than two. Promise me. Come on, mate. We're off to a bad start. It's a hundred leagues or more to Havana. Will you walk that distance? Where's he running to? Follow and I'll kill you! We could work together on this!
That schooner will do me just fine. Commandeer this lover's ship and follow. Hmm. Right, uh, Kingston? No, no, our destination is Havana. I'm just a merchant. Quiet, you bleeding pirate. You'll hang for the mess you made out there. Sir, I had nothing to do with this attack. My crew and I have merely anchored to water and resupply. Hold it! Stop them! Then I shouldn't vent your skull. Take my sugar! Take anything you like! I'll pay you! Anything you like! Oh, in sight. What? I've got him dead to right. Yeah. God's grace, sir. Lacking a rowboat, I'm afraid we'll have to swim to my ship. Hardly the worst thing to happen. Duncan. She's a modest schooner, but well suited to my purpose, trafficking cargo from my plantation and such. She'll do fine. There's a strong wind now. Let's strike to full, shall we? Ah, there's a tug of the wind at my hair. Ah, I find a bracing comfort in the feel and smell of the ocean. <laughs> the raw stink of... of possibility. That's a top way of seeing it, mate. We've really opened it up now, haven't we? <laughs> Those sailors were quite animated by the idea of pirates roaming these waters. Is it a real danger, do you suppose? A possibility. But most pirates stalk the windward passage between Cuba and Hispaniola. Oh, I see. Yes. That is a bustling strait. But I shouldn't worry about being waylaid by pirates, truth be told. My ship is small, and I have nothing of immense value. Sugarcane and its yields, molasses, rum, that sort of thing. <laughs> There's not a pirate living who'd turn his back on a keg of rum. Well, yes. Yes, I suppose that's true.
<laughs> You're a natural sailor, Duncan. I did a decent trick at the helm some time ago. Two years before the mast as a privateer. Dash my buttons. Your life seems a grand one, if I may say. So full of adventure. How marvelous. I've seen my share of strangeness, I. <laughs> <laughs>